We're back to the Neil Haley Show and also the Media Giant Effect. I'm first excited to welcome my co-host, Damon Cowboy 347 Harper. Damon, how are you? And I know you're excited about our guests. You're going to introduce them because when you talk about music, you're a man, fan of music and all these different things. And it's really intriguing what these guys are doing. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm honored to be here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm super honored to share space with uh, brother Russell and brother D Brown um, of Zupanova. Um, I, I feel like they are cornerstones of the LA scene uh, wow. with some of the sweat equity they've invested in the industry and uh, on the media giants platform. This is huge. Yes, Lord. Wow. Oh, thank you. Thanks for ha thank having you. us. I appreciate, appreciate that. It. Thank you for having us, you guys. <laughs> how did it all start? You guys? Yeah. So how did it all start for you guys? Kind of give us the story. Uh, it's um it's just interesting uh we both have two unique stories of how uh we were just came into music and um basically how we were introduced by someone that was a family member to him and someone that was a best friend to me and the moment we were put together that supernova just happened and so um you know it's uh a, a long um story that probably could take the whole show but <laughs> to to uh to break it down in short terms um you know we just kind of uh, connected through a mutual uh friend of ours or a family member to Davey and he saw he saw he recognized the talent and he brought us to, to together basically in some way wow yeah so, you know, sometimes it's just that that story about um uh that friend that that's always saying, Oh, you gotta meet that that my cousin, you gotta meet my cousin. You always have that that's friend that's always trying to pair you with somebody. You gotta meet my cousin. And it's just weeks and months go by. And finally that opportunity happened where we're in a studio session. And it's like, remember that cousin you were telling me about? Why don't you bring him on through? And he right. brought him on through, and it happened to be Davy Brown, and it's just the magic happened instantly. All right, all right. Uh, Neil, you don't mind if I, if I dive on. right in? Go um, ahead, dive in. A, go, go, go. It's a blessing, man. Um, yeah, man, I, I want to get the juices flowing. Yeah. Um, bro, brother, I'm going to start with Brother Ross. So uh, I, I, I've caught, I've caught, um, I've caught some of your work growing up um, just off mm -hmm. of the, the Fergie story off of VH1 a long time ago. But wow. there's this, there's this dynamic I have to ask, like, you know, having having the the hits that you guys have, um, you know, allowing yourselves to be in top 40 right now. You got one that's, you know, 38. You got one that's 41 on um, the iHeartMedia. And, you know, I saw a segment from Jermaine Dupree. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come a little different with, with my question. And he said how he ran into Babyface um, a long time ago. And because uh, I think he had a hit from Criss Cross. And uh, Babyface said, man, um, you know, he basically belittled J Jermaine Dupree's sweat equity in the, in the track, but he made Jermaine Dupree feel like he did nothing. And Jermaine Dupree said that, uh, you know, you know, man, it was then I realized that I can't just do it one time. I have to continuously do this thing. So because of that fact, right, um, as artists, as producers, as writers, right, um, does does is there like this sense of like man underappreciation of your sweat equity because you have to get something done and move on to the next right uh, or because Russell right uh, coming back to the point of why I wanted to start this this phenomenal dialogue because of the fact that you introduced Fergie to 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 Black Eyed Peas right the fact that you've done some production work the fact that you you've done some writing right. Is there this sense of like being present? There's this sense of like being more rooted in gratitude, right? Because you had kind of like a different introduction into the music game. Yes, Lord. <laughs> wow. Um, you know, it's it's uh it's that's a good question, right there. <laughs> um it's kind of like being a fortunate to see your own friends uh deal with the kind of ups and downs and the challenges that they went through in the industry. Right. And so, um, you know, it was tough for them. You, you know, people just saw them blow up and the glitz and glamour, but there was more to their story that a lot of people don't realize. They had to fight 
and they had issues with the label. They had issues with themselves and all that kind of stuff to get to where they are. And, but the thing is, I think that we all kind of were, um, as a group of us, we're always inspired to, there's that a, a certain thing, I think in, especially with hip hop, where there's a, a like a, a competitiveness. And so we would always try to impress each other and outdo each other. And right. so that kind of um, thing, I think you kind of as a habit that that um, that makes you keep on going. Where it's like we're all about that ambition and all about trying to grow and progress and and see what we can do creatively and do things that we haven't done before, especially. And so with music, has been able to uh, me and Davey, we strive to continue to do things that we just haven't done before and. Uh, whether it's musically, creatively, or traveling, going to a different place that we haven't been before, or um, just, just you know, I think to to not get bored, to know, and just that this has just been uh, in our soul, just to do music, yeah. whether, whether um, you know, I don't know, it's just something that we just don't stop. It's just in us, it's that ambition. And so Absolutely. beyond just being around people that influence you and that are always staying creative, we kind of uh, see that create. We see that kind of like inspiration throughout in the world that that makes us to continue to write and and Davey is always constantly coming up with different um, music and he's like, here, let's listen to this and this. And so it's just I think that support of just having good people around you that that keep you going and keep you um, as having ideas and having visions to keep um to keep motivated i guess in some way so yes, you know absolutely yeah. <laughs> now davy how much did you learn from Russell working with him for these years and kind of getting this together and his experience from uh, um an unmeasurable invaluable amount i mean i i think we kind of play off of each other so well that it just even from day one it just came too easy and so it was kind of like a no brainer right off the bat of just the way we kind of bounced off of each other. And, um, you know, it was just one of those things where we started off not even uh, doing a session for ourselves, but more like doing work with uh, with other artists. <clears throat> and then it was just kind of one of those instant like, hey, we're doing this for other artists, but, you know, we should do our own stuff. It was, it was just way too easy, too smooth, uh, too natural. And so... Yeah, we just kind of had to ride the wave and go with the flow because it was it was just some this universal, you know, uh, attraction of like, you know, why aren't we doing this ourselves and making our own music and put it in that that's what we do. So yeah, it just came way too easy. But uh, as far as like yeah, learning stuff, um, I mean, I couldn't even begin to to start, nowhere to start, nowhere to end as far as what we've what we've learned off each other, what I know I've learned off of him, um, what I'm sure he's learned off, off of me. We, It's just, you know, anything, not even just music, but just life, brotherhood. Um, you know, sometimes we talk on the phone for a couple hours and it has nothing to do with music. And we're just kind of ping-ponging back and forth um, in just sort of this, like, magical way where it could be just anything, really, any topic. Yeah, this yeah is I, I think... You learn to have um, a, a brotherhood in a sense with this, and it's something just beyond music because um, you know you become almost like an extended extended family in a wow. sense. And so I have that with uh, all all of a lot of the people I've worked with in the industry, where it's just um, you know I think that having that brotherhood, having that connection, that bond, also. Um, brings it to another level of uh, keeping things going and keeping things consistent. Um, uh, brother, brother, brother Brown and, and Rossell, uh, shout out to you guys uh, for sticking together for so long um, from the precipice of just being classmates. That This thing about harmony I keep hearing. Um, what is it about both of you guys' as individual stories that allows you guys to be respectful about the aspects of harmony as you guys, you know, grow together and create together. 
uh, because, you know, you guys done some some phenomenal work. And I got two more questions to ask after this. But I, I would like to get you guys' mindset on just that and how important that is, you know, between the both of you doing such, you know, profound work together. Well, I think for me, uh, just first and foremost, like, so my dad was a multi-instrumentalist. Uh, my older brother is a multi-instrumentalist, so I kind of grew up in a house where instead of there being toys around, it was the toys were our musical instruments. And so my dad always had like pro musicians coming in from different genres to jam. My brother had his friends coming in to jam. And so it was just kind of like the local jam house in Southern California. <clears throat> and so with that being said, I kind of grew up in the <clears throat> mindset of just always like in jam mode, which really is about harmonizing with your brothers and 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 collabing and so for me it was just like a, a like a natural thing where you're just supposed to listen because these these are guys you're not coming in with sheet music like i've done the sheet music thing i've played in like jazz orchestras latin jazz orchestras that type of stuff but <clears throat> as a kid growing up it wasn't about sheet music it was about listening and having that like musical conversation with each other so i'm hearing this person i'm hearing what can i do to to contribute what can i do to 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 make that uh sound better and then what can i do and hopefully whatever i do then they bounce off of that and so <clears throat> it's just basically this musical conversation where my whole life has been trying to trying to harmonize uh with mm -hmm. people around me and so for me <clears throat> going back to the natural thing it, it just it was just this innate thing inside of me where uh by the time I got old enough to have like my own bands, my own groups and and play with people, um, including Ross Sal, it was, it was just kind of like what I do just as a, as an improv musician, just kind of jamming back and forth. I'm always looking for that, that harmony. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I right. think, um, I, I would say, uh, having that experience of, um being in the studio with will i am and those guys and and uh him opening the door for us to in, have our input on ideas on songs and just different things like that really flex that muscle and he does such a a, a wide re, uh, a range of different um genres um it, it just kind of uh helped for me being in that room and then that experience to also um be able to be flexible on what, what you write and how you approach songs creatively. And, you know, you have sometimes, at least for me, I've learned to be able to, to be able to write where I'm in, in my shoes, but at the same time to be able to write uh, in a perspective out of my shoes. Yes. And so, um, you know, and then also being in a health, a healthy competitive environment where everybody's invited to kind of see who could bring the best idea or the best verse and stuff like that. And it's like, um, one of the things that me and Davey always say is that heat and pressure creates diamonds. So it's just like during those times where you're getting that heat and that pressure that, that that's where great stuff is usually, uh, born. You know, that's where the diamond is formed right there. Right. And so, um, working with them, prepared me to be able to work with such a talented individual like Davey and for us to really create that Zupanova sound so, because it's different from a lot of other sounds out there and you know you have to really be confident on what you're working on and knowing that it that it has a place and that it could fit in the months of uh what's happening right now in yeah. a sense yeah. so Russell where do you see this going the, the group where do you see you guys? What are, what are your goals and stuff that you want to accomplish? Um, we have really big goals, actually, because, with, you know, obviously being around guys like uh, Black Eyed Peas and stuff like that, you can see how they become such a global success. So that's just inspiration for us to also build our, we're in the process of building our Zupa world in a sense. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Zupa Nova is just one part of the Zupa world that we're bringing to the table. So we're, we're getting, we're, we're gonna be uh, doing events, we're gonna be doing um, fashion and, um, you know, also getting involved with more nonprofits and things like that. But we're pretty much building a, a Zupa world around uh, Zupa Nova. Yeah, anything uh, from uh, like setting up our own uh, 501c3 um, known as the Zupa Foundation 
You heard it here first. And uh and, and because we've been we've been um kind of collabing with uh with other nonprofits for for years now, uh most notably uh, ambition.org which um primarily deals with uh like underprivileged youth in the LA area. And so we've just kind of had this passion for uh, for giving back. And so we kind of have our own thing with the Zuber Foundation that we're going to link up with some of these other um, nonprofits as well. <clears throat> Try to do like some 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 Zupa collabs on that end, um, as well as the kind of bringing f uh, music, fashion and lifestyle um, together in these events where it's not just going to be a concert. It's not just going to be like a runway show. It's not just going to be like like a an art gallery um where right. people will bring in you know their their artisan crafts and 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 things of that nature but just try to kind of you know take that supernova which is originally like where the band name came from but instead of from a to z we're going to put that flip from z to a zupa so we're going to put that zupa twist on it and and just try <laughs> to kind of have that you know explosion of of sound color frequency you know styles and uh and, and so we want to make it um less of a concert and and less of a of a runway show and less of a, an art gallery and and things of that type and more of an experience mm -hmm. i i have to as an entrepreneur um you know i i love how this thing go when you when you build connections and you try to create, right? You right. know, the NFL, the NFL was a, a 501c6 up until 2015, wow. right? So there is like so many ways to, to create and to bring people together. And you guys are killing me how modest you guys are right now. And I, I really <laughs> appreciate how you guys broke that down and put in the Z on to the you know doing it backwards but mm. what is the mission and vision right um just by starting the 501c3 like you guys coming together and saying that yeah with the ambition uh project like what is that what is the the the, the unique you know details and the gristle of y'all's mission and vision though right 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 now, uh, we're, what we're really excited about is the next song we're getting into is called Zupa Love. And it's just all about spreading love, spreading more love to the world. And so uh, we're in the process right now of putting together a Zupa Love concert series. So the Zupa and a docu-series. And so all, it's going to be kind of like documenting the process of what we're going to be doing now and leading up to next year because we're in talks with um, the commerce of orange county to do uh, a zupa love festival mm -hmm. so we're going to be doing a zupa love concert series leading up to a zupa love festival that will be doc that will be um pretty much documenting the process and so the thing i think is really important with the youth especially and um tied in with the nonprofit as well like for the past few years we've been working a lot with the youth and inviting them on to perform with us, great talents that they'll learn our songs and they'll be rapping the verses and all kind of things like that. So I think it's important um, for these kids to have the opportunity to be on the same stage as some of this established talent and they have that on their resume, you know, because it's like, you know, as a, you know, as a youth, you're just ch trying to chase doing a demo or doing all these things and doing showcases, but, if you're able to be on the same stage and open up or, you know, with a, a big headliner and you share that, that's something that you have on your resume forever, you know, and giving kids that kind of opportunity, I think, and that experience mm -hmm. and that feeling to be on that same stage, I think is important and what we want to provide uh, going forward with the events and things like that, the fashion shows that we'll be doing and providing. Yeah. Really, really being able to open up a, uh... Uh, doors and opportunities that that were never open for us and so you know to try to give ourselves a uh, a platform that you know we can kind of uh you know give back in that sense of like um for years i was uh a music educator and i, I would teach multiple instruments and my whole thing was well let me teach like all the stuff i grew up wishing that somebody showed me let me try to show that you know, 
and then sort of uh, uh, within that giving, you sort of receive your your own blessings of of not only like let's say, you know, a lot of teachers say sometimes they learn more from the student than the than the student learns from them, even if it's like a life lesson or something like that, or just like how to how to communicate uh, with other people, how to how to reach them in ways that you haven't been able to reach people before and things like that. And so, so yeah, ultimately um, we basically just want to be able to open these doors and, and, and provide some opportunities that, that we really never had ourselves. All right. Well, where's the good, best place you guys can find information on you? Where can we, where can we go? Um, you can find us at zupanovaofficial.com. And of course, every major platform out there, all the social medias uh, you can find us at, Zupanova, Z U P A N O V A. Are you where are you guys touring? What cities? You're going to be doing some tours too, right? You're going to be coming, going out. We are. Mm-hmm. Well, we have um, or this this month we'll be filming um to our um, Zupa Love music video that we plan on releasing early next month. Uh, the next gig we have will be for the uh, May Fest Festival, May Fest Festival which is um, going to be benefiting care caregivers. And so this is uh, in Carson Civic Center on May 7th. And we'll be there. Uh, That's uh, in California, well as right? The Wish Bus. It's Carson? Yeah, yeah. Here in California, yeah. Yeah, I have a connection. Carson City, yeah. I have a great connection. It's a caregiver that's like pretty known, but on 40 different channels, stations and stuff like that. I'll connect you. I'll, I'll let your publicist know because nice. he's really into the caregiving end. And I also use you guys to read out, reach out to, um, oh my gosh, I'm thinking of the guy's name, he's celebrity. He's doing a caregiving show too. So uh, that's fantastic. What you yeah, guys please, please, please connect, uh, connect us. Cause I'm actually also, uh, that's what I do too. I'm also a caregiver. Uh, outside Are you? The artist oh, you have to meet caregiver yeah. Dennis Danny. I have to introduce you to him. Yeah. Uh, okay. That that'll be great. Excellent. I'd love to invite him out, especially. It's, it's, uh, oh, he lives in LA, so care. you can come out and all that. So I'll make that connection with your publicist. All right, guys, we Perfect. appreciate thank it. You. Best of luck to you. Hey, okay? thank you. All right. Hey, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. All right, thank you guys, for listening and thank watching you on Zupanova. Zupanova. We'll be back in just a moment.